Hello, I'm Steve Larson, engineer with Cat Pumps. Today we're going to talk about direction of rotation of the crankshaft for a cat pump. What I've got modeled here is a 35, 35 cross section view showing from here to here is the drive section. From here to here is the fluid section. This is where we put the cat pumps oil and this end here is where we uh, handle our pumped liquid. And so once we get our pump ready to run and we fill it up to here with cat pumps oil, which of course is specially formulated to work with our materials of construction and the loading to give optimal uh, lubrication for all the parts. And so it's filled up halfway on a bubble gauge or the dipstick. And then we start running our pump and we'll have a motor or something that turns the crankshaft. And this rotational motion turns into a back and forth motion with the plunger through the connecting rod and plunger rods such as this. And what we want to notice here is as I'm turning this crankshaft, this chamber here is slowly opening and that's drawing in the water. That's our intake stroke. During the intake stroke, there's not a lot of load that's happening in here because we're just pulling that plunger back. But once we go over center and start to push that plunger back forward, now I'm compressing this chamber and I'm creating the discharge pressure and pushing that flow out. When that happens, everything is in compression from here back to the crankshaft. It's in there a lot of compression because there can be two to 3,000 pounds of force to push that plunger into that chamber. And if you notice, there's an angle between the horizontal and the connecting rod. So what that means is this compression force has a horizontal force and it has a vertical force. Now, when the connecting rod is facing downward like that, this force is pushing down on the bottom of the crosshead area. Now, what you'll notice is this area is below the oil surface, which means it's properly lubricated and be minimal wear and everything runs good. If I were to run the crankshaft the other direction, so that in the forward stroke, the connecting rod is at this angle. Now, instead of a force down here, now I have a force on the top, which of course is above the oil level and it doesn't have as good a lubrication. So that's why the proper way to run a cap pump is top of the crankshaft forward for proper lubrication.